Hello and welcome back to Trains A New Era. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And as it says in the top left hand corner, good morning, drive the train from Kita Ayasi station and then finish at the Ayasi depot. Uh, so we're in Japan and we're going to be taking one of these commuter trains out. So this is different to what I've done before. And uh, I just want to see what this is like. So yeah. This is going to be this is going to be a little bit interesting. I know I've had a request uh, for a different, for uh, what do you call it, a different uh, setup. Someone wants me to have a look at the Settle Carlisle route, and I shall do that as soon as I can. I just need to uh, ask um, Oren for for the actual route, and then I'll be more than happy to take a look at that route. So let's see, let's see what we can do. Look at that helicopter! It's got a bit of puffs of smoke coming out the back. I'd be a little bit worried about that. Let's get inside. Let's have a look inside. Uh, it's taking a while to load. The quality of it isn't brilliant. But uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. So the next signal is red. It's right there. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, proceed. Here we go. I'll switch that off. So it's taking a, it's it's interesting. It's taking a little while to load up uh, the textures when we jump from inside to outside, but it's okay. We've got this new thing called coupler strain that I've not seen before, so I'm kind of interested uh, in how that works. So I suppose we have to just uh, be careful with that. But we are we are getting along. Uh, speed limit is 25 miles an hour. 20, sorry, 25 kilometers an hour, I think. So you can see that we've got a, a speed limit there that we need to be looking at. Now, I'm not sure why this is in simplistic mode. I would have thought this was in... Hold on. Is there any way for me to change user rules menu? No. Quick drive, no. I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit confused, but we'll we'll get ourselves going. We'll definitely get ourselves going. Right. Not much in the way of noise. Obviously, this isn't that great a quality. But uh we we're, we're getting there. We're we're definitely getting along. Um the train itself is all right, but as you can see, it takes a while for it to load in. This it is—it's not terrible. I'm not going to say it's terrible. It's uh its all right. It is all right. Looks like that's where we're headed. I don't know how long this um this is going to be, but I just want to see what it's like in um in this place. Interestingly enough, it's lagging if I look at it like that. But the moment I do. That it seems to become a lot smoother. Rather confused. Right, let's uh get some power down. Now that is not correct either, I don't think. Oh no, that is correct. No, that is correct. My apologies. Yeah, 50, yeah, that's definitely correct. It just looked incorrect uh, at first glance, but no, it's correct. Okay. So now we're pottering along quite nicely at speed through, uh, is this Tokyo? I have no idea. Looks like a McDonald's to me, that does. Another train going past. Can I put a bit more power into this? I think I can put a little bit more power in. There we go. I am curious as to why this has gone into simplistic driving mode, but uh, that's okay. This is one of the elevated rails. We've got another speed limit coming up in 0.7 of a mile. I'm looking to see if there, there are some equivalents of Morpeth warning boards here for us. I suppose we've got the station coming up. So it's a station we should be stopping at, I suppose. In which case, like a tube, at this speed, which is a sort of the speed of tube, uh, London Underground tube, that is. Oh, look, Honda. Um, 
runs at, I should be able to slow this down. That's about 0.2 of a mile. If no, uh, yeah, 0.2 of a mile should do the trick. But ah, here we go. Here's a warning to slow down. I think that that was a warning. I think those are warnings to slow it down. These these chevrons here. Awesome. Oh, this this train is slowing down remarkably fast. I keep forgetting this isn't in a in that mode. Doesn't sound brilliant, I'll be I'll be honest. I'll wait for the green signal, then drive to Ayasi Station. Alright. Alright, that sounds uh sounds good to me. I assume that was uh, passengers loaded on, so we just wait. Which isn't too bad. We can just uh, hang around here. Toyota freight train. Awesome. So they have freight trains running on this underground route. That's something we don't have that often in Britain. And drive to the Ayasi Depot. This is the shortest run I've ever done. I might have to do another one. I can't have I can't have a run this short. I might do another run on this track, a little bit of one. And let's pop in. Unless that's just a red signal, that's not the depot. Maybe that isn't the depot. It does say stop, though. We'll just potter along at 16 miles per hour. No, that does look like a depot to me. That must be the end of the run. Wow, that's a, that's a quick, quick run. Yeah, we're, we are at five star. We are at five star. That's it. End of. I assume we're swapping tracks here. Otherwise, we'd be going straight into the back of that train, and that would be a problem. Right. Hey, look at these little freight trains running around. Just pop in. Should stop here. Right, uh, that was really easy. So sure, let's just uh, exit that. So the one that I'm, the one that I've selected for this was the Chioda Branch Line. Um, maybe not. Right, let's have a look. Anything else? Uh, from the industry to the Yasi Depot. Sure. Should we just take this one? A little bit of a delivery one. All right, realistic mode this time. Your job is to deliver a refurbished train 05 series from the industry to the depot. That's our train run. Looks all right to me. There's another train going. So our first task is, I assume, to head along this way. There we go. Got this coupler train again, which is interesting. kill the power now. We'll just coast up this way. And then we'll hit the brakes again. Okay. Um, I assume we've got to next go out that way once the track is clear. Let's have a look inside. Well, that doesn't help, does it? Just gotta wait for this track to clear up.
Anytime now? Maybe? Using the different views. That's a decent view. When you're ready, there we go, proceed to the junction. And we'll reduce the brakes. And then I, I assume we've got to back in and... I assume that's the train we've got to take. Next speed limit. We've got a speed limit coming in of 9 miles per hour. There we go. That's flicking around in a weird fashion. I'm not sure... I'm not sure at all why that's doing that. Again, quality could be improved. Quality needs to be improved. Particularly, I mean, that's very square. All this is very square. Just a bit of normal maps. Just some normal maps would really change the roundness of these, fa of these little uh, edges. It would really change what this looks like. That looks good enough. Let's get on the brakes now. Right, now we've got to back it up. Has this been changed for us? It has. So now we stick it in reverse and back up. There we go, back up at 5 miles per hour. Looks absolutely fine. No problem backing up uh, any... No, no need to back up any faster. 6 miles per hour now. I do like how the smoke does go with the way, or the steam goes with the way of the... Uh, the travel, the way the engine is travelling, so if it's travelling that way, the steam goes that way. It's a, it's a, it's a nice little touch. The engine itself is alright. Not brilliant. Again, I think the biggest thing missing on these seems to be decent normal maps. I genuinely think decent normal maps would make a, make a big difference. definitely make a big difference I'm just back in nice and slowly I don't want to smash into it you see you're all right you're all right you're all right all right let's get some train brakes on How close are we? Pretty close. And we are connected. Right, we stopped. I think we should be... There we go, we stopped. And now we continue along our way. Fantastic, let's go. Now we've got to ensure that that couple of strain isn't too bad. All right, well this is this is a decent one. This is a decent run. Uh oh. Now stop accelerating. Stop accelerating. Stop accelerating. Nine. There you go. Where are you going? Slow down, fellow. He's uh, going at a rate of knots, isn't he? All 
All right, let's clear ourselves into the next. Uh, he stopped it. That's good. So we've got to proceed that way. Not too far. I'm waiting for that 16 mile per hour. Or the 40 mile per hour, you know. Something where I can put in a little bit more throttle. There's 16. Why did the train brakes come on? Did I... Uh, I hit the train brakes by mistake. That's what I... Right, okay. That's the train brakes right there. Alright, well, I'm learning things. I'm learning things. Drive to Ayasi Station. I shall do that. And let's pick up the throttle a little bit. It looks like we are clear. The noise isn't brilliant, I'll be honest. Ah, had a bit, I heard a bit of the engine revving. But the noise is not brilliant, I will be completely honest. Well, that's okay. It is an old, it is an old system. An old, uh, what do you call it? An old sim. I can't wait for the updated one. I think it's going to be fantastic. Really is going to be fantastic. Gap in the line right there. So if you're wondering why I'm only doing 28 miles per hour, it's because there is a half a mile away, there is a 28 mile an hour limit and I don't fancy uh, speeding up and then slowing down for half a mile. Especially because I don't know the, the limitations of this particular particular train that was a nice noise wasn't it for the uh, level crossing okay there's waypoint one we are on a green signal for this single track Uh, another blast of the horn. There we go. Now we have a hill to navigate. Here comes the limit. This hill is going to slow us down. Yeah. I'm going to start adding in more power. This hill is definitely slowing us down. Right, okay, we've got to ensure that we've got the power to get up the hill. There we go. That's plenty of power. As a matter of fact, we're, we're doing really well. Doing really, really well. And there is our destination. So, yep, yeah, this isn't too long either. Oop, bits more power needed. Just a little bit. And there we are. 28 miles per hour will ease off the power once again. Oh, we are we are going too fast. I would like some dynamic brakes. Oh no, it's not dynamic brakes. A little bit of train brakes. There we go. That's plenty. We are going to go into a 34 mile per hour limit soon, which is uh what 55 kilometers I think but we don't have that far to go so we'll just uh, potter along there is the 34 mile per hour limit we'll add some power in we don't even have to go all the way out on the power we don't have to put our foot down simply because this is a pretty strong engine are we crossing over we should be right no we're not huh interesting 
So we are going over the hill. Watch that couple of strain. I like that. I like that, uh, the idea of a couple of strain. That's kind of quite important. Now we'll put a little bit more power in right here. That's a bit of a wobbly track. Concerning. Right, I know we're speeding, but we are going to slow down very rapidly. And as we crest over this hill, we should just cut the power. Yeah, we'll cut the power in my opinion. That should get us down the hill rather nicely. And there's our station. On the brakes. Okay, that should have been a much slower corner in my opinion. Should have been a 15 mile per hour corner. It didn't feel like that train... It didn't feel like the bogeys tracked correctly on that, but um... What do I know? Ooh, there's another train coming through. Hello. How are you? Yeah, just delivering the next scheduled train. Alright, we'll drop the power. We don't need any more power here. And we should probably get on the brakes at this point. Right there. It's good to get on the brakes. Oh, too early. Too early on the brakes. Wow. Although we are in the platform, so realistically, I'd, maybe we shouldn't be too worried about it. But, uh, okay, how about that? Stop. Stop the train. Stop the train. Right, we need to decouple. So we'll go ahead and uh, decouple. So we'll click that and decouple there. That's decoupled. Now I assume we have to get out of here. Proceed to the navigation. Yep, let's get ourselves out of here. Bye-bye. We're decoupled. Double check that we are decoupled. We are. Alright, let's see what this uh let's see what this train can do on under acceleration. Picks up speed incredibly fast. 30 miles per hour immediately. That was remarkable. That really was remarkable. Alright, I'm continuing along this way as instructed. I've just got to drive to the depot. Give it a little bit more throttle. Not six. Come on. Not seven. Not eight. Not nine. Something to increase the speed. Why does the track look at, like it's disappeared? That's concerning. Hit the brakes. What's happened here? Uh, all right, what, what just happened? I was indicated to go that way and then suddenly I need to go the other way? That's a little bit confusing. Well, I guess, I, I guess I'll end it there because I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on trains and new era. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you want to see. I'm going to see if I can get that Settle Carlisle route. Uh, that should be quite interesting. It's been a very long time since I've been down that route. Uh, train Simulator, Microsoft Train Simulator was the last time that I had a look at it. So yeah, that should be rather interesting to have a look at. Uh, yeah, this train's disappearing as well. Well, that's interesting. Last but not least, do support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Link to that is in the description box below. I would massively, massively appreciate your support. Thank you very much for watching once again as we watch this train uh, basically drive into oblivion. And I'll see you guys next time in Trains, A New Era.